Good evening, Pastor Eric Moore. How are you? Good evening. It's good to be here. Did you hear about the shooting that just occurred last week in Maine? If so, what do you know so far? I have heard about it. I think most of the country has heard about it by, by now. And today I awoke to hear that the shooter was actually found dead. I, I think he committed suicide. And um, it was just a tragic event all the way around. It just seems like uh, too many of these things are happening actually around the globe, whether it's uh, a war in Israel or some type of mass shooting here. It's just really a, a travesty. But I, I heard that 18 people died um, besides him. He, he would make 19. And that 13 people are in the hospital of some fighting for uh, their life and others for other injuries but just uh, my heart goes out once again for the for the families especially those who lost loved ones and also my prayers uh, go out for those who are dealing with physical and, and mental emotional injury right now so the suspect in question murdered 18 people with an assault weapon what are your thoughts on assault weapons well, that's that's a good that's a good question. I, I think that I probably have not uh, thought about it as, as deeply as some would have liked me to to think about it. I understand uh, being in the United States, we have the Second Amendment, which allows us to to bear arms. And I think the argument is uh, on one extreme, uh, there are those who said, well, you can purchase all the weapons that you want under the Second Amendment, but they need to be purchased law and they should not be assault weapons and on the other extreme is no we have the right to purchase any weapon we want to as long as we purchase them legally because the bad guys are going to have the most high power weapons out there so we need to have those as well and I know that's the debate that continues to kind of rage in our, our society but I really don't think that is the main issue I think there is uh, more um, that we need to be thinking about rather than uh, assault weapons or not assault weapons. What do you think is the best solution in society to prevent another tragedy like this from happening again? Yeah, once again, uh, you know, our, our culture, the, the debate is that hey, we need to have more gun laws and if we have more gun laws then this won't happen. And others are saying, well, people's hearts need to be changed and if people's hearts are changed then we won't, uh, we won't have these uh, type of things happening. And so I, I think uh, that is a good debate. I think also we do need to be thinking about how we might uh, be able to lessen the frequency uh, of these type of things happening. But, but the truth is, I don't think we're ever going to eliminate them altogether. And I, I tell you, the reason I say that is not just because it's, it's, it's my opinion, but I think that scripture really speaks uh, to this. Matter of fact, as I was thinking about this situation uh, this week, I was thinking about a passage in Luke 13. I'm going to actually turn there right quick. Luke 13, where there was a mass murder in Jesus' day. And it doesn't really say how many people were killed, but it does say that Pilate is the one who killed them. And he mingled their blood with the sacrifices, which means this was a holy thing for the Jews. And yet this Gentile leader comes, he massacres these people, and then uh, their blood runs right with the sacrifices that they were trying to uh, present. And so they uh, come to Jesus with this. And of course, they're trying to get Jesus in this political debate. And that is, hey, should we rebel against Pilate? Should we uh, not obey uh, Pilate? And even were those people deserving of what happened to them? Maybe they were innocent people. And here it is, this uh, Roman uh, governor goes and kills these innocent people or were they guilty people? Did they deserve what happened to them? And so that's that, that same debate has been going on for thousands of years. Uh, but what's interesting here when they do ask Jesus about this, Jesus says, do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered this way? I tell you no, but unless you repent, you will all perish. So what he's saying is, is, you know, these mass murders are going to happen. They're going to happen. And so, yeah, we do the best that we can to prevent them, but it doesn't have anything to do with whether the people are innocent or whether they're uh, sinners or guilty. The question Jesus says is, 
if and when something like that happens to you, knocks on your door, is your relationship with God intact such that when you leave this life, you know where you're going in the life to come. And so his main emphasis is we shouldn't be as concerned about trying to stop these type of things. We should, don't get me wrong, we should be trying to stop these type of things, but the most important thing is to make sure that we and members of our family have a relationship with God. And of course, that only comes through Jesus Christ. And so Jesus doesn't just stop with the mass murders. He goes on to what we would call tragedies of nature. He even says in verse 4 here, Luke 13, 4, he says, Or those 18 died when the tower of Siloam fell on them. Do you think they were more guilty than the others in Jerusalem? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. So he's saying, you know, it's not just mass murders, but, you know, there could be a tornado or hurricane or tsunami or something and it kills people when they're on vacation or they're uh, having a good time unexpected things of nature and the question is Jesus says whether it's a mass murder or it's a issue of nature that mass death is going to come from time to time and the question is have we got our relationship with God intact so that if those things have our address, if we are the ones that are deceased, is our relationship with God intact? And I think that's the question that we should be asking. Are there any other remarks you have regarding this incident? Well, I don't have a, I don't have a question regarding this incident, but I think just like Jesus took the incident of Pilate killing all those Galileans, and Jesus took the incident of the Tower of Siloam falling to remind people that one day this life is going to come to an end, uh, whether it's through tragedy or just natural causes. And we need to make sure that our eternal life is intact. So the only thing I have to say is when these things happen, let it be a reminder to us that we can trust in Jesus Christ, those of us who are believers in Jesus Christ, that no matter what happens to us, because we put our faith in Jesus Christ, we know that when this life is over, we will spend eternity with Him. And for those who might be watching this who are not believers, I just want to say that the best thing you can do is allow these instances to tell you, direct you, to put your faith in Jesus Christ and put your trust in what he did on the cross for you 2,000 years ago. Thank you for your time, Pastor Eric Moore. You're welcome.